Hi guys, welcome for a quick update on my melon and pumpkin farm design. You might remember this one from uh, one of my last videos. I showed how to build a working melon and pumpkin farm there. And this design still works, but you can build this much easier now because some things changed in Minecraft 1.1. So, the basic design of, a, of the simplified version is very similar. You start up with a single pool of water, like this. And this will be enough to hydrate an area in a 9x9 nine nine, uh, area centered on this single block of water. But in difference to the previous version of melon farm you can now operate your block breakers by using redstone tube this tube already includes the conductive purposes in this uh, tube itself so you don't have to lay separate redstone wires like over here so connect to these you just add your block breakers as usual so we'll be using 9 per side because we have this area hydrated from our pool of water. This one is pretty much the same as over there. And then we till the ground over here. And what's new is that we don't have to till this ground over here because in Minecraft 1.1 there was a change that allows um, the stems to grow their fruit which are the melon and the pumpkins on soil like uh, dirt or grass like this one so we'll just plant our seeds like here and they will grow without any tilling so we can save ourselves those deployers over there and just let them grow naturally without any tilling. So, um, but this also means that this stem when grown could grow its plant to this side or over here instead of the front of the block breaker. So it will grow the fruit into a random direction and to prevent the fruit from growing in the wrong direction and be placed in front of the breaker. I'll be using some leftover cover planks, plank covers, just so the fruit can only grow into this one direction and not be, well, laying around on the wrong side. You can also, of course, use anything else or replace those blocks over here with cobblestone or anything the plants will not grow on but I like this because it's looking nice and I had the leftovers so I don't care so we'll add this piece of jacketed wire for um, the connection with our timer just stitch it to the ground with some regular red alloy wire Lay down a timer and maybe a lever to turn off the timer, like so. And, well, maybe add a chest to the end over here. And this is the simplified version of the farm. It works, well, well the same way as the other one, but the main difference is you don't need to till the ground and you don't need to supply extra redstone wire on top of the breakers because you can now control the breaker with redstone tube like here. So I'll just use bone meal to grow the stems and then I'll take a quick time lapse so you can see that the plants will grow on the grass. Now, as you can see, some plants have been grown on 
the area where previously was some grass. So, um, well, it just works without any tilling. You can turn the timer on and it will harvest the box and store them in the chest. And although I have a feeling that growth rate has been reduced a bit in Minecraft 1.1, it's still sufficient to grow more melon than you can actually consume or you need to consume um, so you'll still make a surplus even though I think it has been reduced in speed of growing but anyway that's how you build it I hope you like this much more um, compact design and again thanks for watching and see you next time